back to my channel um if you're a regular daily welcome back and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before watching the rest of the video because we are on our way to 5,000 subscribers today i'm basically going to be doing something new on my channel i am going to be doing like a girl a girl <laughs> i'm going to be doing like a girl talk segment thing thing on my channel while i'm basically um getting ready i'm gonna do my face um so yeah i'm going to be answering like questions and then i'm going to be answering like stuff is like what would be basically do so i wrote like a couple of questions down and like what would be do if she was in this situation in the situation you know so i'm a little crusty right now and i look messy and i look rusty but we are gonna fix all of that now in a second so um this is basically going to be like um a conversation like it's gonna be like basically sitting down with a friend or i don't want to say therapist because i'm not a therapist child but like it's gonna be like you're sitting down with a friend and just having like a lovely and nice conversation and i'm going to be giving my um two cents here and there's my front line and now so i'm going to be giving my two cents here and there so um if this is the kind of video that you like um stay tuned mm. so um yeah getting started right into the video um i hope my friend doesn't fall hey so um girl talk is basically like a segment i want to introduce to my channel because i've never really done anything like this before and i'm trying to um getting spread my content and have like stuff that are going to stick to my channel and not like always do random things and probably you guys are just like hmm what is her deal like what is she like what is her channel about so i'm trying to fix all of that so <clears throat> girl talk is basically a segment that is here to stay and yeah so um okay, i've done the outlining of my eyebrows so now we're gonna get right into the questions so first question here is like um i have feelings for my ex and i don't know if i should ask him out um I mean, if you like the person, I mean, why not, you know? But it's also, um, why is this person your ex, you know? And I feel like a lot of people always find themselves in these situations, like them having feelings for their exes. But then also, guys, it's a thing I've like, why did you guys break up? Like, what led to the breakup in the first place, you know? You should also um, think of that, put that into consideration, because, I mean if whatever reason broke you up and you guys get back together like there are some pretty good chances that the same thing would actually break you guys up again Cup it depends if the person are my male or not and then if they listen then good for you and but then if they don't it's like you guys are basically going to end up leaving each other for the same reason you guys um left each other in the first place i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah next thing is yeah um i think i might have a toxic friendship what should i do and i've had this conversation before if your friend is toxic and your friend is not supporting you and it's all about this person and you have basically addressed whatever um <clears throat> whatever the issue might be to the person and they're still not listening leave you know leave whether you love the person dearly or what not leave guys like sometimes you always gotta put yourself first and if somebody is not reciprocating the energy and people aren't um <clears throat> giving the same um 50 50 in type of energy leave like you make other friends and besides in this world you don't need 10 billion friends but then also um if you haven't had a, like a conversation with this person and you feel like it's worth having a conversation then do it but like if they're toxic they're toxic you know i'm entirely toxic with toxic there's really nothing you can do with getting to toxicity is a toxicity whatever it's called but yeah next thing it says here um a guy friend zoned me because i didn't want to smash what do i do leave him because clearly he just wants you for smashing and that's pretty much it like ooh, i have something you guys are not telling me that i have something on my nose 
I can take a lot of some eyeliner things on my nose. Didn't even realize. But anyway, as I was saying, um, clearly they just want you in the bed, and that is pretty much it. And what what does it say here? Mm, oh, they're friends, don't you? Because of that, then if that's the reason they're friends, don't you? Then that's all they wanted, and you don't want to give them that. Then just let go. Like, what the hell? up? I'm about it in that way and it's literally okay and some sometimes guys guys like manipulating um people when it gets to such situations and you guys should stop it like stop it it's not cute you guys put um unnecessary pressure on people and like how you get what i'm saying so just leave him really he's not worth it he's not worth your time he's not like he's not deserving of you literally um it says yeah how how does b stay um positive and motivated yeah i struggle hey like <sighs> Cha, like sometimes especially when it gets to me um give me a second the concealing is done i can go back to talking um yeah as i was saying um i do struggle a lot like with staying um motivated and staying positive so on the days where i don't really feel um motivated or positive i take like a pause <clears throat> i don't do anything i just take time to myself try to find my feet try to find my rhythm again so um sometimes it takes a lot but then sometimes i try to um what's this watch like motivational videos or inspirational videos or um just try to put myself in a very good mood and obviously if you're very, if you're in a very good mood you tend to be more positive so that's what i try to do but yeah guys it's a struggle here like yeah it's a struggle sometimes i'm like down bad for weeks days and i'm just there like so now we gotta go through this every month like i literally go through um such phases like where i'm very um demotivated and very negative for like weeks and weeks and or days literally like every month or like every second month and when i feel that way guys one thing about me i will feel it out i won't put pressure on myself or try to make myself i mean um I don't put pressure on myself in, you know, trying to be happy or trying to portray um, feelings or trying to portray, trying to portray myself as um, someone I'm not and whatnot. So if I'm down bad, I will be down bad and I will literally feel out each and every emotion I'm feeling. And I feel like I've excelled at that <laughs> and I've made so much peace with it, guys. So, yeah, you know, you know, guys, it's normal to be... Um, to feel like that like it's completely normal you know um next thing here is um how do you get over a guy that isn't your man child um <laughs> i feel like if you're in that situation um delete the person's number if you do have their number um block them or um unfollow them on all social media platforms because at the end of the day baby girl you are gonna get hurt because it's not your man's and it could be where this person has like a girlfriend or has a boyfriend and you are too obsessing over somebody that is not even yours so you baby girl you gotta do what's best for you and oh child it's gonna rain <clears throat> and that is you basically um just deleting the person's number and moving on with your life and basically um finding distractions guys whether it's reading a book, going on a run, going on a walk, or cha, I don't know, but like literally just finding distractions and stuff to do. Because if you don't have stuff to do, you're gonna end up stalking the person. So, and it's not healthy. Obsessing over somebody that is not even your man's in the first place, or liking somebody that is not even your person in the first place it's 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 tricky it's a tricky situation but i would say finding like distractions and stuff to do just to keep your mind off this specific person um what does it say um 
Would you ever get back with an ex? Oh, hell no. Oh, uh, uh, mm-mm, 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 that was one thing. I will never do. Like, never, ever, ever. Like, all my exes are toxic. All my exes are, ugh, ugh, you know, but <clears throat> jokes aside, I would never. Mainly because they've, I don't want to say they've all hurt me, but like, they've all done some pretty shitty things to me and why would I go back to people that have constantly, constantly hurt me or constantly shown me that um, they don't deserve me, you know, or that they don't like me, so I know better now, so. Oh, hell no, 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 no. And if you're in that situation um, where you want to go back to your ex, if it's a good ex, like the breakup is innocent, not really innocent, but like if the breakup was like peaceful and um, you guys both didn't do anything to hurt each other, it was just like, ah, I'm just not feeling you, but then you later discover, oh, actually, you do like this person, this is the person I want to be with. Okay, yeah, cool, you can get back with. But if the person has like emotionally abused you, physically abused you, or done like, or cheated on you, don't go back. Like, mm -mm. because chances of them doing those things against you are quite high, my friend. And don't say I didn't tell you because I am telling you right now. Like, but only repeat and you're going to get hurt. You know, good job. Uh, listen to me here being Dr. Filcher. <laughs> uh, next thing it says, yeah, um... What kind of person were you in high school? Okay, in high school, I was... I was very quiet and very shy in high school. Like, when I was in St. Conrad's, I was very um, shy, I was very quiet, I was very to myself. <laughs> I lacked a lot of confidence, you know, for so and so reasons. But as time went on, in high school, I was... Yo, when I changed schools, guys, I... Okay, obviously, like, in the beginning, like, if you go into a new school, you quiet and, you know, you mind your own business and because you're still trying to figure out how to mind your mind, you're still trying to figure out your, um, getting your friendship group, right? But as time went on, people at that school did not like me and people would constantly bully me. People would constantly want to fight me. So, at some point... I was quite aggressive i was like a fighter i was rude i was mean i was basically mean to like people that were mean to me like and if you want to fight me i will fight you too and um if you're gonna come to me and you're gonna snap at me i will snap back at you but like if you're gonna come to me like in a very innocent way and you want to be my friend and you're very nice i'll be nice to you back but, like if you're gonna come to me all aggressive i will give you aggression back you get what i'm saying so i was a lot of <laughs> people in high school you know but I think I was humble. Yeah, I, I think I was, I'd, li I'd like to think that I was very humble back in high school. And I'd also like to think that, actually not, I minded my business, guys, in high school. Like, I minded my business. Like, I don't like people. I didn't really care. Okay, I'm lying. I did care about my words at but like, I, pff, most of the time I just really did not care because didn't matter because you know it just didn't matter but i'd like to think that i was quite humble <laughs> and i was a very nice person still am a very nice person so yes child um how do you cope with not getting the attention from someone you're interested in how do i how do i cope with that Ooh, how do i cope with that I wouldn't really know how to answer this because it has never really happened to me whereas um, I'm not getting attention from someone I am interested in so I wouldn't really know how to answer that but mm, I mean if they're not noticing you then clearly they're um, not 
drawn towards you you get what i'm saying so i don't want to say here yeah, try and make yourself noticeable because i mean if you're you and you're being you and they're not noticing you that means they just uh maybe physically or whatnot not drawn to you and that is completely okay and you shouldn't put yourself in a position where you're trying to um what's this thing called where you're trying to 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 um what's this thing called to make yourself to put yourself out there for somebody that for somebody that just is not okay so i'm back um next thing here is uh what would be do um okay no it's not <laughs> is um basically they basically it's a thing you're like yeah it's the thing like what would we do basically you know it says yeah um how to not compare yourself with girls girls online or like influencers how do i basically cope with that like what do i do um i feel like it's pretty normal for um people especially maybe girls even guys to um compare themselves to um people on the internet or influencers as such um this happens to me quite a lot and I, if I feel like I'm in that funk or in that um, position, I tend to basically um, take time off uh, social media or basically that specific app, it being uh, maybe Instagram, you know, I will take time off of it because clearly it's basically not, it's not good for my mental health at that moment. So I will take time off it if I do feel like I'm in a position where I'm, um, I'm comparing myself to people or whatnot, whatnot. But I feel like it happens to a lot of people and it's completely normal to um, find yourself comparing, um, basically comparing yourself to um, other influencers, you know. And also um, what other people um, tend to do if they um, find themselves in these kind of situations is um, they will unfollow, they do unfollow um, that specific person. Maybe, for example, if you feel like pressure from Kylie Jenner, uh, for my mental health and my well-being, I will unfollow her because the content that she sees, she creates and posts, and I don't want to feel the pressure, you know? So, I feel like I'm following um, that specific person or taking time... Um, away from that specific app will do some justice for your um mental health and the state you you'd be in in that specific moment you get what i'm saying i look like a cloud <laughs> guys it's raining so next thing here is um what to do if i hmm what to do if i if a boy says he cares or loves me but his actions say otherwise guys Actions speak louder than words. They speak louder than words. If this boy is basically saying that he cares and he loves you and his actions are not um, basically corresponding to what he's saying, then leave him. Or maybe, but sometimes, you know, with James, making them aware of um, their little mistakes, they'd be like, no, okay, sorry, babe. No, 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 no. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. And then after... They fix it just for that moment, and then after a few days, Valley Bay thought, Oh, Ghana, my girlfriend said this and this and this and this, and then they're basically going back to square one. So, I genuinely feel like if somebody is saying that they love and care about you and they're not sharing it to you, then clearly they don't love or nor even care about you, you know. So, yeah, people are weird, guys, people are just weird like people are weird next thing here is um do you think that one night stands are gross <laughs> uh no i don't find them gross i don't think that they're gross like how you could find your uh special somebody on one night stand but like i mean if you're doing that please use protection you know like you don't know okay mang taking you know and do mang or balalama so protection is the key if that's what you're planning on doing you know always be protected
I look crazy. I look crazy, 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 crazy. Um, it says, yeah, would you shoot your shot? Uh, answering that now, I would say no due to my experience. But if you'd asked me this question like four, four or five years ago, I would have said, yes, um, I would shoot my shot. But I have shot my shot before and cha, mm -mm, never again, never again, because it was a total disaster. Yeah, like so, I would never, ever, ever shoot my, shoot my shot ever again. Basically, and that is what I have to do. Would never. I would never because I just wouldn't because mm mm cha mm 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 mm. Like I have such a bad experience with that to a point where like I would never do it again. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. <clears throat> uh how do you deal with toxic friendships i think i've answered this before i don't deal with toxic friendships i the people that i felt like were um toxic friends to me i have cut them out you know because it's 2021 we're going to 2022 in like a few days so i don't want to be dealing with um the same toxicity or the same problems every year so highly toxic i would gladly 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 get rid of you not like rid of you like i will um just not have you in my life anymore because you are toxic you know but i don't deal with toxic friendships i don't like dealing with toxic friendships because my child is just a lot of work you know okay it's coming together Okay, I'm just gonna wipe my lips quickly. Okay, dokie. Okay. Um, next thing is yeah. Um, opinion on sex before marriage. Um, people that wait um for marriage, kudos to you. Um, perfect, amazing. Um, that is your choice, but. I mean, I don't really have much to say about that because I couldn't wait, you know, so yeah. For the people that are waiting, congratulations. Like, kudos to you. You can actually um, save yourself for that long. And how does the thing now? Like, I don't um, really, I don't really think of getting married a lot. Obviously, like the thought of it, like having like a dress, planning the whole thing, the whole event, and the rings, and that is pretty cool. But apart from that, it's just like oh, marriage. You know, sometimes, and lately, people don't take marriage seriously because you can literally get married to somebody, and then in a few months or a few years, they cheat on you. So it's just like, why did we go through all of that in order for you to basically cheat on me or leave me or whatever? You know, sometimes stuff like this just don't make sense to me in my opinion <laughs> uh it says yeah um how do you love yourself without makeup um honestly and truly speaking i prefer myself without makeup i barely put on makeup except for maybe when i'm taking pictures or uh when i'm planning on maybe doing a video or whatnot but most of the time i prefer myself without makeup honestly and truly speaking i feel like that's where i look my best my best i think i guess sure people my, other people might have like a different opinion but for me that's just how i feel i feel like i look better without makeup and like happy doing makeup putting on makeup is just so much work it's just so much work because you have to use this and then you have to put on this so sometimes the admin for me is a little too much so um i prefer myself without makeup and i completely completely love myself without makeup and i'm more confident without makeup i don't rely on makeup a lot you know guys i'm not done the thing that i want is under my um ring light and no <clears throat> i'm back i just been to go get my lashes um where was i um 
how do i deal with anxiety um guys when i'm feeling like pressured or overwhelmed or you feel like you're i'm about to have like maybe an anxiety attack or like emotionally like inside like bina, bina, bina kant, um i don't feel okay guys i take time off i feel like i'm like the queen or <laughs> the master of taking time off guys if i'm not okay emotionally i will take time off and i will not feel bad for taking time off social media or basic ooh, too much glue or i'm um, taking time off <clears throat> youtube because guys my mental health comes first you know it genuinely genuinely comes first before anything i put my mental health first because cha, i ain't finished i don't want to be depressed i don't want to go through all of that you know i didn't go through all of that in order for me to basically go through that again you know i didn't overcome something in order for me to basically um relapse or um <clears throat> go back into that funk again no 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 no, no. um Oh, what a question. What a que what a what a question. <laughs> um, as a bisexual, do you prefer femmes or studs? I prefer one girl and one girl only. Um, but answering that <laughs> studs, I mean I'm not really like into femme. Chan, I'm just gonna answer the question. I would say studs. Um yeah, I would say studs, 100%. Um, which supplements do you take to clean your vag from the inside? I don't take any supplements to clean my lady area from the inside because mm -mm, I just don't take anything to... No, I don't take any supplements for um that. I feel like and if you are planning on to, please um first go to the doctor before even considering taking any supplements because sometimes you would take something and then next thing you react and then you get like stuff like thrush or whatever so i would basically say if you're planning on taking something to clean down there first consult with a doctor and then after that you're probably good to go you get what i'm saying um, so now i'm basically trying to choose like an ice for palette Okay guys, so I'm back. I literally just had to put on my lashes and do a few more touch-ups. Um, yeah, so I'll wait with green because it's almost Christmas and I'm trying to, um, you know, get in this Christmas spirit. I really didn't do anything hectic. I just put on green. Um, what's this? Um, eyeshadow and that is pretty much it. Now I'm basically going to do my look. I'm going to answer the last bit of the questions. Um... We literally just have two more questions. Um, one here says, um, how do you deal with unusual periods or irregular periods? Um, guys, and my uh, periods are like very irregular. Um, I stopped keeping track. I stopped keeping track of my period cycle and whatnot. But then, the other thing that my boobs um do is that they um usually like the week before i get into my period they would get really really full and they would get very very painful so that's so that's how i basically track my period oh, okay cool if my boobs are painful this week and they will be painful the whole week and feel heavy for like the rest of the week i already know that next week i'm going to be in my period and i mentally um prepare myself for that and i just let it be because like i already know what is going to happen so that's how i basically um deal with it or how i basically prepare or, or that's how i deal with like irregular periods you know um says here um your pet peeves when you're talking to a guy or a girl my pet peeves um i would say number one and the most important one per personally is someone that talks too much i don't like somebody that talks too much i don't like somebody that is going on and on and on and on and on and on and on because i tend to um zone out when people talk a lot like i zone out you know so when somebody just talks too much or when somebody's just being very cocky or when somebody's just full of themselves i'm just like mm. Mm. even if you're like very cute or whatnot i'm just like guys for me like somebody that just talks too much or somebody that's just very cocky somebody that's just rude that's like a turn off for me like 
but the most important like the number number one or like number one one is somebody that just talks too much i can't deal with people that talk too much i don't even talk too much so can you imagine me not talking too much and then meeting somebody that talks too much and just goes on and on and on and on not even on and on and on about like interesting stuff you know but like going on and on about yourself and you're just busy here just full of yourself like mm -mm, that's, that's that's not cute for me and then um yeah guys that is pretty much it um so yeah i literally just changed into like a cute little crop top and i don't like the color of the shirt though kind of put it in here but <clears throat> yeah guys and um, that is basically the end of our little girl talk um you know kind of tmr conversations with me so um yeah i just want to say guys if you've made it this far and if you guys um sorry i just want to say guys if you've made it this far i just want to say if you've made it this far thank you thank you so much for tuning in and um if you guys did you like enjoy this um please do tell me um in the comment section down below comment um i don't know something because you guys never comment but like just comment something that will or just let me know that you guys actually really did enjoy um this conversations or these little topics that we had today um yeah guys so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and guys please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll basically see you guys on my next video bye guys